Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you a book from my collection. So I collect all kinds of books and this one is called Numerical Methods in Fluid Dynamics. So this is a math and physics book kind of and it's extremely advanced. It's like the highest possible level. This is research level. This has actual uh, research papers inside it so it doesn't actually get any more advanced than this, right? Because that's where new things are discovered, right? When you publish a paper, it's it's something new, and then you know that's how uh, math and science progresses. So this is a collection of papers. Uh, also, this book was published by Mir Publishers Moscow, which is or was a publishing company in Soviet-era Russia, Russia, and they would take books written in Russian and translate them to multiple languages and then schools all over the world would, would use these books. So this one is called Numerical Methods in Fluid Dynamics. It was edited by N. N. Yanenko and U. I. Shokin. Advances in Science and Technology in the USSR. Cool. And then here it says Mir Publishers Moscow. Let's, re let's read the back. This is where it gets, this is how you can tell it's hardcore. And then we're going to open it up and then just like take a look at the inside of the book. Numerical Methods in Fluid Dynamics. This book is a collection of original papers by leading Soviet experts in numerical, let's see if I can zoom in here, here we go, numerical simulation of complex fluid dynamic processes. The authors discuss a wide variety of models, incompressible fluid, plasma, overpressure, and large deformations which produce shock waves and develop instabilities taking into account the effects of thermal radiation and viscosity that lead to the formation of boundary layers. Wow, really, really uh, advanced stuff, right? Really advanced. So let's open it up, see what we have, see what's in the book. Advances in Science and Technology in the USSR Mathematics and Mechanics series. And here are the editors, oh, here are the translators. Translated from the Russian by Vladimir Shakura. That is a huge task. Translation edited by R.N. Hainsworth. I have various books, by the way, uh, Mir Publishers, Moscow. I have various books that were uh, translated from other languages. Um, I have one that I keep thinking about that I'm going to look at uh, later, maybe. It's, uh, I have to find it, though. It's one that was written by Henry Cartan, and it was translated from French. I actually have books that are in Spanish that were translated to... to from English, for example, um, Advanced Calculus by Fuchs, F-U-L-K-S. I have a, a copy in Spanish. So, you know, American math books also get translated to other languages uh, as well, and they're used in other countries, right? First published, 1984. Cool. And then here, here are the contents. So it's basically just a collection of papers, right? So it, again, it doesn't really get uh, more advanced than this, right? It really, really doesn't. Let's take a look at these. So direct statistical simulation of problems in aerohydrodynamics. Wow. The splitting method for the numerical solution of problems in gas dynamics. So this is for mathematicians that are actively working on you know, publishing papers uh, for, for, you know, in numerical methods in fluid dynamics. Let's just say. Ex Experience in applied mathematics has shown that many classes of scientific problems, particularly in fluid dynamics, cannot be solved unless new methods of computational mathematics are developed. The development of efficient methods for solving fluid dynamic equations is important for many branches of modern science. This collection of papers gives the reader an insight into the state of the art of the numerical methods in fluid dynamics. And it talks about the papers goes through and talks about all the papers and what they what they do direct statistical simulation of problems in aerohydrodynamics wow what a word right and then he, here are the people who who wrote this paper right that's so i have other books like this too i have one on um oh, what is that book it's like a it's, a, it's, it's like this thick. I should make a video on I think I have already. It's a mathematical handbook. That's what it is. Yeah, it's like a big old mathematical handbook. And it has like, it doesn't have papers, but it has math knowledge. So it's, it's much easier to read than this one, right? This is uh, very, very, this is not light reading. <laughs> What's this? Shockwave, shockwave structure, comparison with numerical solution 
of the Boltzmann equation. And, and you wonder, you know, how much of this is now updated? How much is, oh, what's this? Oh, it's an errata. This is errata. That's cool. So basically, these are uh, mistakes. This, this can be useful. Uh, I remember I, I was, when I was studying uh, partial differential equations uh, as an undergrad, um, I had to get the errata for the book because it's a great book, but it had a lot of typos. Oh, what's this? To the reader. Mere publishers would be grateful for your comments on the content, translation, and design of this book. We would also be pleased to receive any other suggestions you may wish to make. And they give you their address. It's funny, right? Like, I'm going to send them something. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm kidding. Printed in the Union of Soviet Socialist uh, Republics. Uh, it's uh, interesting. I used to collect comic books, and a lot of the... Uh, nice smell on this one. A lot of the old comic books, um, they would have, like, little things where you can cut out um, like a coupon or something and mail it in to get free stuff or like to sign up for something or to buy something um, So you always had to mail stuff in you know, but yeah, you can see there's a lot of mathematics right approximations of Navier Stokes equations Hardcore right Lots of mathematics here so this is probably, again, like, just again, this is the most advanced <laughs> math and physics. This is, it doesn't get any harder than this, right? Because it's, it's research level. Uh, when you're reading research papers, I've, I've read some, and it's, uh, it's very hard, right? It's, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy. You have to know a lot, and there's a lot of stuff. You know, it's like reading a, a super hard math book with, like, tons of content, but a little bit harder. Depends what you're reading, I guess, right? So a simple iteration. Correction methods. Yeah, wow. Looks pretty hardcore. Numerical simulation of tsunamis. Wow. It is customary to call the gigantic destructive wave caused by a sea quake, eruption, or underwater landslide a tsunami. This Japanese word means an exceptionally large wave in an ocean port or harbor. The literature on tsunamis is very extensive. Interesting. It contains thousands of titles. Let's, let's look at this. Let's uh, zoom in here and take a, a closer look at this. I don't know. Maybe that's not the best. There we go. Tsunamis originate primarily in the Pacific Ocean due to the high seismic activity in its basin. However, tsunamis have been noted in the Atlantic and in the Indian Ocean. And there are data on tsunamis in the Atlantic and Indian Ocean, and there are data on tsunamis in the Mediterranean, and even in the Black and Caspian Seas. The damage caused by tsunamis is many times greater than the after effects of the sea quakes themselves. Tsunamis are caused by abrupt vertical displacements of different areas of the ocean floor due to tectonic movements. They may be caused by abrupt horizontal shifts of steep or stretched submarine slopes by falls of land areas into the sea from shallow water slopes or by landslips on the slopes of submarine canyons, by a seismic shock or by elastic vibrations of the bottom unaccompanied by residual changes of the form of the ocean floor. Wow. Wow, wow. Really, really cool stuff, right? So this is it's really quite interesting. Um, and it's funny, you know, you learn something by reading uh, a book that its intended audience is professional mathematicians and physicists who are publishing papers. That's why, you know, a, a lot of times if, if you're trying to learn something and you're thinking like, oh, I can't learn that yet because I have to learn this, just always remember this. If you want to learn to do something, you have to do that thing, right? So it's like, you know, if you want to learn calculus, you have to do calculus. Sure, the algebra matters and it's important. Sure, the trig matters and it's important, but like, just start, right? Just start doing calculus, just start. By the way, since, since I said that, I should also mention, I'm just going to get some tea here. <clears throat> I should also mention, if you want to learn math, um, I do have courses. Uh, they're on my website, or they're on Udemy, but use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. And I've got calculus courses, right? Mathsorcerer.com. I've got calculus, college algebra, just so many courses, tons of tons of courses. So check them out. And check out my merch. Boom. It, it's pretty good. It's kind of small. It's kind of expensive, but it's pretty good. I know I can't make it bigger, right? So, like, it's just like it's the one that they allow me. I just put the image on the cup. It's merch, right? So, but it's pretty good. I've had this for a long time, actually, and the quality is pretty good. So, I, I approve of this cup. 
uh, even though it's a little small, which makes it good for tea. I'm drinking green tea right now with this cup, with this, uh, yeah, so. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's pretty good. Probably going to make more. I'm starting to get addicted to the tea. Keeps you hydrated, and it gives you like a small amount of caffeine. Um, not too much, though. But, yeah, kind of an interesting book, right? Um, these books, you know, I, I collect... I'm, I'm like a really, really hardcore collector. I collect a lot of things. And uh, these near publisher books are, are like some of my rarest books. They're not like super expensive. I say they're expensive, but they might be like 40 or 50 bucks, you know. I always think like someday they'll be worth thousands, you know, because I'm a collector. That's what, you know, like, oh yeah, this is like a priceless book. <laughs> so in my mind, uh, a lot of the books I have uh, are, are very interesting and rare. Not just these, but other books uh, written by uh, American mathematicians and people from other places. Um, yeah. So yeah. Anyways, I hope it's a, uh, you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, keep doing mathematics.